So the summary of sequence function is that the Excel sequence function generates a list of sequential numbers in an array. And the array can be one dimensional, two dimensional. Uh, we can also give the starting point and the step value to the arguments. And we can have a demonstration shortly for that. The purpose is that get an array of list of sequential numbers we will get the sequel sequential numbers if we are required that we can use this function in those situations return value what this function will return to us on the spreadsheet they will create an array of sequential values and the syntax of this function is there are four function arguments the first one is compulsory and the remaining three are optional as you can see there are square brackets to it so we will discuss each of the function arguments uh, what they are mean. So the first argument was rows. So we, we have to supply a number to it that how many rows needs to be written in a sequence function when it creates numbers for us. The second function argument is the columns, which is the optional. Okay, uh, the number of columns to return, how many number of columns we are required to return. If we don't provide anything, it will just uh, generate numbers in rows starting numbers starting numbers defaults to one if you skip that it it start from the one or if you can uh, have a further preference to your customized choice you can give any number to the starting number and then the step value uh, might be some of the users have created serial numbers in Microsoft Excel, even serial numbers, odd serial numbers, right? Uh, even we have a chart of accounts list, so we have steps to it that how many steps we need to create a new value to it. So we can give the increment between the each value. And if you skip that this uh, function argument, it starts defaults to one, okay? So let's uh, go quickly to the uh, sequence function demonstration in Microsoft Excel. All right, and uh, here we have some interesting example as well so that you can understand how sequence function can be utilized in, in different kind of situations. But first, I will apply from the very basic equals to sequence. Now there are four function arguments. The first one is rows, okay? So let's say I want to have an output in five rows, till five rows, how many columns, for example, four columns. The start value, I want to start this from zero for example and a step value I want each value with a step of five means 5 10 15 20 25 okay so I want a step of five and I will close the bracket and remember that we have we are applying sequence function in one cell but it will create a spill it will create a, an array for us and when I press enter key you can see the results the sequence with a step value 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 so this is the beauty of this sequence function and uh, later on you can change the criteria according to your requirement for example if i want uh, the output comes in eight rows eight columns step value will be 10 so definitely it will generate the results according to our given criteria Okay, now let's come to the uh, examples. For example, if we want to use sequence dynamic array function in three different practical examples, we want to create a list of days with a, with a step value of one, or we, we want to create a list of uh, a sequence of hours, just like 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., or uh, we want to have the first date of every month and the last date of every month in a in a sequence so there are three different situations and i will apply these situation one by one and i assume and the prerequisite that you are you might be a uh, intermediate excel user and you know the some of the functions of excel so that it will not create a confusion for you so for for the example one i hope that is clear what for the demonstration part for for the second one uh, uh, we want to create increment of days so we will be writing equals to sequence now how many number of rows you need an output let's say i want 10 outputs in in one column that will be 10 rows and how many column that will be one column uh, that this is the current column uh, starting value will be the uh, the start date which is in b16 and i need to create a step which is the one because I, I need 
uh, every day date so there as we know that in microsoft excel uh, an increment of one changes the next day date right so when i press enter now you can see that we got 6th january 7th january 8th january 9th january just like a series of uh, days right uh, as in sequence so we have generated this with the help of sequence now as a as a, as a normal excel user you might not have explored uh, the sequence function before or you will you are doing this kind of same work with a different strategy but as i told you with the availability of dynamic array functions now our work done very quickly and and dynamically uh, with the help of these dynamic array functions so this is how we can create a sequence of days now for example we need to create a sequence of hours so we need to add some more functions to it so the first function will be the time because we are dealing now with the time not with the numbers itself so equals to time then we need to create a sequence okay and sequence for example we need to create this output to next 10 rows uh, only one column and definitely the starting point now the starting point is is the 9 am but on the back end it's it's a it's a number and to deal with it we need to add the r function the cell will be f16 and then comma one the step value will be one because we need a time like 9 am 10 am 11 am so on okay then closing the bracket and we don't need minutes and seconds so we don't need minute and second we will write zero here and we will close the bracket so now as you can see that we have created a sequence of hours uh, with the help of three functions time sequence and hour because we are dealing with with, with the time so you also kept in mind that uh, the dynamic array functions every time does not come standalone they come with different kind of functions to meet your requirement based on the situation now the last situation is getting every month first date and the last month date with a sequence okay so how are we gonna do that so for that i will be using equals to e date now if you don't know e date i can just read it for you and after the webinar you can uh, have uh, there are many articles and youtube videos available on this normal excel function this is normal excel function available in all versions what it does is returns the serial number of the date that is indicated number of months before or after the start date so it will provide the starting dates of every month okay uh, so e date e bracket open so the start date start date is in the i16 okay and we will add sequence dynamic array function to it so that it can create a sequence and within the sequence we will write we need next 12 months first date 12 is not the fixed number here you can write 10 here you can write 8 here uh, this, this means that how many outputs you want in uh, in this specific column okay so i need 12 specific outputs and then how many columns output you are required one with which is in the current column and uh, starting will be the zero and i need to press control shift and enter key okay so that's the basic requirement and if i press control shift 3 uh, this will change the format of the dates so you can see that the months are changing but dates are not every month first date is now appearing with a sequence okay first may first june first july first august first september and similarly if we want the last date of every month within a sequence so for that we can use uh, another excel normal function if you are not familiar with that i recommend you to later on read that article or video uh, regarding this function this is called eo month okay so eo month is basically uh, opposite to the e date and eo month returns the serial number of the last day of the month before or after specified number of months okay so i am using eo month bracket open so the starting date is is in i16 and we will add sequence function to it so the number of rows we are required for example again i am getting uh, i want 12 outputs then in this specific column which is one and zero 
starting point and i will press control shift enter again this is an array formula because sequence itself is a dynamic array function but eo month is not and for that i need to press control shift enter and if you see these kind of numbers don't worry as i told you in this earlier webinar if you need because dates are numbered on the back end so if you need to change the format you can just right click going to format cells click on date and change the format so now you are getting control shift 3 so now you are getting a sequence of ending date of every month right now imagine that doing it in uh, doing it without these kind of new dynamic array functions it would be very difficult for a normal excel user to find a solution for these kind of situations right and this is how dynamic array is uh, changing the way excel user is working in microsoft excel so i hope this function is now clear to you with with these kind of three different situations okay